Wow, just wow. On episode two, I guess I'll call it the Marketing with Charles show. Episode two of the Marketing with Charles show, I want to show you what I just did with one of my Facebook pages and a contest we are running. It just went viral. We're talking in a town of 260,000 people. It's already over 40,000 organic reach. I have a bit of a paid ad going to it, but it's only at like less than 100 people have seen it because I'm not spending very much money. But over 2,500, that's 2,500 comments on this contest. I will go through probably in episode three of why I think this contest did so well. But I wanted to touch base on the fact that Facebook contests actually do work. The key though is you have to follow the Facebook rules and a lot of people don't know what those rules are. And I see every day, I see businesses, I see marketing companies constantly doing contests wrong. And you can get away with it for a long time probably, but one day you won't and Facebook will shut your page down. It's totally not worth it. Facebook knows who's following their contests or not. So if you find that your contests aren't doing that well, consider following the rules and maybe they'll show your post to more people and make the contest go viral. So for Facebook contests, you are not allowed to ask people to share. You are not allowed to ask people to tag people or themselves or friends. You are not technically allowed to even ask them to like your page. You can ask them to like the post and you actually can ask them to leave a comment. The reason is, is that I don't want people's personal pages to be flooded with contests. So if you share it or tag someone it ends up on people's personal Facebook walls, they want to keep all the contests on the business pages. So that's why they having people comment on the contest is fine. And that's what we did. We just asked for a comment. And we, it's a very simple request, just one comment. We're not like, like this, tag this, share that. That's why it was so successful. Well, one reason why it was so successful. So in tomorrow's episode, I will cover in more detail why I think the post did so well. But the point of today's episode was to say, follow the Facebook contest rules. They're pretty basic. They're there for a reason. They want to keep the experience for the user awesome. A lot of businesses take advantage of the rules and don't follow them. So make sure that you do. We'll cover that a bit tomorrow as well. But the key is run Facebook contests, they work. Run them from your page. Just don't ask people to share, don't ask people to tag, don't ask people to like your page. Just get them to like your post or comment on the post. You can use third-party software for your contests, which are awesome because it's better tracking, get them to sign up for your email list and that kind of thing. Contests are a great way to get more reach for your business page and your business. Just make sure you follow the rules. They're there for a reason. And you can say, oh, I keep doing them, but I don't get caught. Well, that's like saying the speed limit is 50 kilometers an hour in the city. We're in Canada, so it's kilometers. And I never get caught going 70. But is it really the right thing to do? Constantly breaking the law until you get caught? No, it doesn't make any sense. So don't do it with your Facebook page. Follow the rules. If you don't know them, ask me. I'll tell you. Do a search on, fa on uh, Google for Facebook promotion rules or contest rules. You'll find the, all the answers you need. So stay tuned for tomorrow on episode three, where I'll take you to the computer and we'll show you exactly what the contest was, why I think it was awesome. So until then, we'll see you tomorrow.